uh, you know, it was definitely a whirlwind. It was a whirlwind off season for me, and uh, you know, I had a busy spring training, but uh, you know, it was a good experience getting all, getting all you know that out of the way. But at the same time, meeting some of the guys I did, you know, Zito and Linscombe and, and Kane, and hanging out with them, seeing how they go about their business, and uh, you know, it was a good experience for me. And I got to throw in some big league games, and uh, you know, it was it overall it was a good experience, and it's just nice to be back and, and knowing where I'm going to be. Yeah, I wore down pretty quick, and. Uh, Caught a lot of games, caught a few double headers, and that'll that'll wear on you. But I was really pleased. I went home and was able to hang my hat on my year. Numbers wise, it may indicate a, a nice slump or, or whatever you want to call it. But I was hitting balls hard and and right eye guys, and that that happens, and it's it's bound to happen through the course of 140 games. But I feel like I did great, and I feel like I improved a lot this spring training on my defense, which was kind of some people have question marks on, but I feel confident. Oh, it was great. It was a lot of fun. We um, we had a lot of fun down there. It's, it's such a loose clubhouse. Nice young core. You know, just getting to know a lot of the guys, you know, personally and you know, uh, professionally. It was great getting to hang around uh, Chad Muller, who's not with us anymore, but uh, Millwood and, and Guthrie and all these guys, and learning the pitchers and trying to fit in there and, and make them like you, I guess. Trying to, to catch them and see what they like to do and see where they're going and. It was a lot of fun. It was a great experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything, and it's motivation to get back there for sure. Any specific stories for any of the guys you got to share? <laughs> <laughs> well, not 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 very many. They're appropriate for uh, the public, but um, you know, there were there's just a few times where I guess you probably read it already that my very first game catching, I went up there and, and David Ortiz was batting, and I just come in from the bullpen with Cam. And so I didn't really realize who was up to bat. I didn't know the order I was catching. And so I ran out there and I'm squatting down. And you know the announcer says, "Now batting, David Ortiz." And I kind of, <laughs> I, I took a breath real quick because I mean my heart was already beating. I had, I had a lot of, of energy and anxiousness and excitement and drill. And so when 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 that happened, I was like, "Oh God!" And so I had been talking to the umpire throughout this whole time, telling him John Hirschbeck because I I love umpires and I knew exactly who he was. So I was like. Yeah, John, that's my first game, blah, 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 you know, I'm a little bit nervous, you know, hang with me, just, you know, let me know if you don't see anything good or whatever, you know, just just tell me. And so he knew that it was my first game, so as uh, as soon as I get up to, to, to catch, Poppy comes up, taps my knee, and how you doing? And um, he said, I, I, you know, how you doing? I immediately said, scared shitless, you know? <laughs> no, I just came out, I didn't mean to, but it's just what happened. So he laughed and tapped me on the shoulder, he's like, it's all right, just catch the first one. I'm like, oh, that's that's great. Yeah, right. <laughs> so camp was about 93 miles sinker and he flies out to left center so I didn't have to worry about that first one so that was about the funniest story. You're a local guy what would it mean for you to take the field out at Oriole oh, Park? Be, yours? I mean it'd be unbelievable I mean I'd have, I already have you know you're gonna have 40 family members and friends that are gonna be here at these games and you know go to the big leagues it's gonna be hundreds of people that know me or you know went played ball with me or whatever it would be amazing I mean it's like words a lot of these guys don't have that opportunity like I do so it's gonna be good. I actually got a high school and college. You know, day first day I step on the mound, they're retiring both my numbers. So you know, everybody, everybody's waiting. It's like anticipation. Yeah, that's exciting. You know, they're gonna have a spot at first and third, most likely. Um, it's always good to have a, a spot up top that's available for you to to show them what you can do and make them make decisions and hopefully get there. You know, it was awesome. Um, every year that I've been with the Orioles, we haven't had the opportunity to be by the big league guys, um, and especially now knowing so many guys that are at the big league level. Uh, being right next door to their clubhouse and kind of in the same complex as them was, was really neat. Um, you got to see the way, like, you know, established big leaders like Kevin Millwood went about their business. And, uh, you know, that's something you can take with yourself coming here in, uh, in Bowie.